Hi, my name is Trina Harrison, and I am the wife of JJ Harrison. Now, I don't want you to think it's strange that we're talking about fear on Valentine's Day, because fear in marriage, fear in love is real. It's real that people are afraid to commit. People are afraid to fall in love. People are afraid that they can't trust. People are afraid that they're getting their hopes up and it's not going to turn out the way they had planned it to turn out. The truth is marriage does have its ups and downs. I'm a survivor of what were some ups and downs in marriage. I was afraid for a very long time that my marriage would not work. Let me explain. I got married when I was very, very young. Probably should have been thinking about college and should have been thinking about what my career was going to be. But I was thinking, I'm in love and, and we can get married. And, not really knowing what marriage was about, we just eagerly jumped into marriage. And maybe about three, four months into the marriage, reality started to hit. And we started experiencing turbulent times. Now you also have to keep in mind that no one knew that we got married. We went to the Justice of Peace, we snuck off, got married, no one knew, not even my parents. So reaching out, for help was something that I just felt like I could not do and I was afraid. Here I was young and afraid, afraid to admit number one that I had maybe made a mistake and then afraid to ask for help. Well as life goes on of course people started finding out and the advice that I was getting from the people that I went to church with was that I needed to divorce. But oh wait the same God that we sing about, the same God that we praise and we say can heal cancer and heal diseases, heal sicknesses. He couldn't help my problem in my marriage. He, he couldn't heal my fears of being married. That was what I was feeling, but that wasn't the reality of the situation. The reality was that God would heal my marriage but I would have to first face the fear of letting everyone know, or at least the important people know in my life, what was happening. Talk about afraid. I was afraid. I was afraid to turn to my parents and say, I snuck, I eloped, I got married, and now I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do. I was afraid to turn to my friends and say, you know what, you're right. Things weren't what I thought they were. And of course, when they did find out, the only advice that they had was, you should leave him. He ain't no good. He's never going to be there for you. Y'all were too young. But there was something inside of me that would not let me let go. Oh yeah, we had divorce papers. We had everything. We were on our way. But we just couldn't do it. And I know now that it was the grace of God. I know that it was God soothing me in the midnight hour when I was hurt and when I was crying and there was no one there to turn to. I know it was God who held me in his arms, shaking, paralyzed to leave my room because I felt like if I had to leave my room, I had to face the reality of what my marriage was going through. So there I would lay in my bed and just praying and crying all night long. And believe it or not, it was in those midnight hours that God was fueling me. He was giving me exactly what I needed to face the next day. I know this message is for someone out there. I know that Valentine's Day is not a happy day for everyone. I know that there is someone feeling those same fears. But you've heard the saying before, God has no respect of persons. What he did for me, he can do for you. You have no reason to fear. Why? Because God ordained marriage. It is something that was instituted from the very beginning of time. You as a wife stand in a position, and your position as a wife is greater than any attack of the enemy. And that's why he wants to keep you bound. He wants to make you think that your marriage is over. He wants to make you think that divorce is the answer. 
But the only reason he has you feeling that way because he knows that if you only understood the power that God has given you and your spouse, you would make a world of a difference today. Today is when we need it, when marriage statistics are going down, when we have more divorces than we have actual Christian marriages. The enemy knows that you'll make an impact in this earth. He knows that you will procreate and you will make babies who will spread the name of Jesus throughout this world. He knows that if you and your husband get on the right track, there's ministry within you. And he knows that two is greater than one. So let me tell you today, let me just plant this seed in you. You have no reason to fear because God is with you. God hears your cry. God knows exactly what you are going through. And these tests and these trials that you're experiencing today will be a testimony, a testimony like I have, a testimony that you can maybe give to your friend who's going through, a testimony that you can tell your children. Yeah, my children know some of the things that me and their dad went through, and they are grateful. I had my son tell me maybe a year ago that he was happy that we stayed together because it made a difference in his life. People are watching whether you believe it or not. Even though you may have people in your ear saying you should divorce and you should leave, you also have people who are rooting for you. They may not say it because they too are embarrassed. They too are feeling those same feelings that you felt and that I felt. But you have to stand up and make a difference. Don't let what the enemy puts in your ear, what we call noisome pestilence, don't let that govern what you're going to do. Don't let the noisome pestilence, the things that you hear in the middle of the night, govern what your decision is going to be. I mentioned divorce rates. I mentioned what marriage looks like now in the world. You know it because we see it all over social media. We see how people are not taking relationships seriously. But don't let that be your story. You have to be an example. And remember, you have no reason to fear.